Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I want to talk about the dead and the living. We know that Jesus, when he was on the earth, he was tangible. People were able to touch the hem of his garment and be healed in the name of Jesus. Even when he spoke the words of the Lord, people were being healed. Do you know that your words have power? Jesus had power coming out of him all over. His words were living. His body was a living body. He came in the flesh down on this earth to live among people. And God glorified him through his body. I want to read a scripture. It's in Matthew chapter 22, verse 32. And it says, I am the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. And I'm going to repeat that again. God is not the God of the dead but of the living. So, currently you have many people who are in the hospital saying their last words to their family. And my hope is that they have given their life unto Jesus. And when they do, They are taken up to heaven. Now, God takes care of them. They are no longer here on earth, among us, living. But God dwells among the living he lives in us. He does not dwell among the dead. Let the dead bury the dead. We have but a short period of time and we're supposed to spend the best time making sure that we serve God in spirit and in truth while we are living. We don't know what tomorrow holds. We don't know if we are going to take our last breath. Jesus walked among people and he show forth his love and his grace. He did signs, miracles, and wonders among the people who did not believe. There were those who were tormented by demonic spirits, and they came crying out unto Jesus for help. There are many people out there right now who are crying out for help. And I think it is important for us to know that if we know the Lord, we can try to help them out in any way, shape, or form. Jesus was tangible, and Jesus in us is tangible. If we operate in the Holy Spirit, we can 
show forth his power to those who want to know him. God is a supernatural God and he can create things. He can bring healing to people, but we must believe, we must have faith and not fear. There are many people who are fearful right now, but do not fear, the Lord says, for he is with you. He will give you your peace. If you're going through any bad situation, if you are hurting, if you are in pain in your body, if you are mentally not well, then we must secure Jesus into our lives. We must glean from him. We must touch the hem of his garment because when we do that, virtue comes out. The healing virtue of Jesus Christ comes out to heal our minds to heal our bodies, to heal our hurts and pain. There are many people who suffer in, suffer in silence or in isolation. And you may not feel comfortable being around people. That's fine. God knows your situation, but if you are isolated or not socially um, inclined to communicate with others, then communicate with God because he will give you that comfort and joy and peace and rest and confidence. The more time you spend with him, the less of you become. What I mean is the flesh always contradicts the spirit. The flesh wants to do something different than the spirit of God. The spirit of God wants to do the things that God that um, Jesus was doing on the earth. Jesus is tangible. He is the God of the living. He is the God who breathed into us, who gave us life. Life is precious. Life is precious. Life is but time and we have to make the most of every second and every minute and every hour and every day and every week and every year. The Lord Jesus is tangible. We want to touch the hem of his garment. Father God, we just thank you, Lord. We praise you. We thank you for this word. I pray that you bless each and every person hearing this word. May you bless their families. Keep them safe. We pray for the peace of Israel. Holy Spirit, have your way. Have your way, Holy Spirit, to those who are listening right now. Bring healing to their bodies. In Jesus' name.